Hello again, it's Michael from Fujifilm. And look at this cute, adorable camera. Oh yes, some of you out there are rubbing your eyes and looking in close at the screen and wondering, is that really an X-T5 camera that he's holding? Yes, it is the X-T5 camera. And it will be available in stores in the middle of November 2022 at a price point of $1,699. Why do I call it adorable? Well, because it's smaller than an X-T4. It's narrower and shorter, and it's actually 50 grams lighter than an X-T4 camera. But as you can see, it's got all that same old design that you all love out there. The shutter speed knob, the ISO knob, the still movie selector switch up here on the right, the physically rotating uh, focus mode selector and <clears throat> three-way tilting LCD that so many of you have been asking us to bring back. So um, this is, like I said, almost the same X-T4 body in a smaller package, but the insides are largely an X-H2 camera. It has the same fifth generation uh, X-Trans 40 megapixel sensor that is uh, also capable of doing pixel shift capture. Uh, it has the improved IBIS mechanism that will give you up to seven stops of IBIS. The shutter is improved for up to half a million actuations. And the processor is the X-Processor 5, which uh, gives you uh, better noise characteristics, more dynamic range, and improved battery life. It has 20% better battery life than the X-T4 using the same W235 battery. Uh, so in stills, it will do 40 megapixels at up to 15 frames a second mechanical, 20 frames a second electronic. And it does have better video characteristics than the X-T4, but this is not meant to be a video-centric camera. So the card slots are SD only, the two of them, UHS-2 capable. There is no Compact Flash Express Type B on this. Also, I'm going to point out on the bottom, you'll see there's no way to attach a battery grip to the X-T5. There is no battery grip option available for the X-T5 camera. <clears throat> now on the video side, it will not do 8K like the X-H2, but it will do 6.2K only up to 30P, uh, and there is no ProRes internal, so it's H.264, H.265, and the internal data rate maxes out at 360 megabit per second, but it is 4 to 2 10 bit improved from the 4 to 0 10 bit internal on the X-T4 through HDMI out, which is that micro HDMI again. Uh, you can do ProRes RAW and Blackmagic RAW um, and get those characteristics. But internally though, we have added the F-Log2 tone capture, which does expand the dynamic range. So you've got over 13 stops of dynamic range in video compared to the just above 12 stops on the X-T4. So um, it has the same uh, basic EVF panel on the inside, but the improved optics of an X-H2. And um, it's got about a million more phase detect uh, pixels on the sensor, PDAF pixels. So the autofocus performance is much improved over the X-T4, far more accurate, and it benefits from having the subject detection autofocus options as well. All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up. So check it out in the middle of November. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.